again. Anterior XCP, maxillary centrals, open please. We're going to bring in the sensor horizontal to the occlusal plane, touching the teeth of interest pretty close to the very end of the bite block. Maria, for her, we need two cotton rolls. I'm going to place these in place. Maria, slightly bite down, not too hard. Good, and we'll slide that against her nose. Great, and we line up. And it can be up to about a centimeter or so apart. I'm checking from all angles. Okay, we're gonna go to the next image. If we're to do maxillary canines, I would start in the same way that I started with the maxillary central. I'd come in like this, maybe we'd set up. So we're gonna do the left side here. We'd set up on the left side here. We're going to break this contact right there, coming straight, doing exactly what I did before, but now sliding over, getting my cotton in, gently bite down, and then bring up against the nose there, lining up, okay? I'm gonna go to the bottom. Presetting. The lower, we can either go over the tongue or under the tongue. I'm going to open, lift your tongue. She doesn't have too much of a frenum, so I'm going to go underneath the tongue. It's going to go straight back like this. And Maria, for this one, I'm going to have you tilt your head back a little bit. Having them tilt back means we're not going to get the entire PID right up against her chest. We have a little room here. Bring that back. So we're going to, again, bring this in parallel to the occlusal plane. And it pushes back under the tongue getting the bite block to touch the teeth right down there in the front. And I can't push any harder, but as she slowly closes, slowly close, I can start pushing in. Open slightly, try again, close, and close now all the way. There we go. So you see how we're able to bring that slowly in her mouth as she was able to close. Okay. And then we line up. Perfect, okay. Open, please, Maria. Good. The next one, same idea when we're doing the canine, and we'll do the left canine. We're gonna come in just like we did, straight in, tilting. And at this point, I'm not gonna have her closed, we're gonna rotate it over to the canine. Now I can slowly move it down and back onto her tongue as she closes. Slowly close, a little bit more. Open slightly, again, close all the way now. Perfect. And we can line up. Okay, open please. Taking up gently, coming out this way. We're gonna do maxillary right premolars. I do use cotton for this. Preset. I'm going to pull the cheek back with my non-dominant hand, bring again the sensor in parallel to the occlusal plane, once it's part way in, tilting, bringing the bite block all the way in, then pulling out against the commissure right here. At that point I can bring up, the bite block will now tilt up against the premolars and so that it stays flat up against the premolars, I'm going to put a cotton right there. Slowly bite down, Maria. There we go. Okay. Next one, molars. Same idea. We're going to get it way back there. And this time, I'm going to try to show that we're getting it far enough back so that the anterior portion of her first molar shows up in front of the bite block. That's the way I know I've got it far enough back. So here we go again. One thing that can help is this is probably gonna bang up against the commissure. So for these molar images, I like to bring the arm so that the commissure will fold and catch right there. 
acronym. Deep in, inside the commissure, up against the teeth. So you can see the first portion of that premolar, so that molar right there. Gently bite down. There we go, open feet. Excellent. Last one I'm going to do is the mandibular molars. I'm going to have to change the orientation. Normally I'd come straight across and then I wouldn't have to change the ring. I'm going to bring the ring right here. It's going to come up against here. This way we know it's coming out of the mouth correctly. Therefore, though, I'm going to need to change the arm to the other side and then change the ring so that we have it coming down. I'm looking down towards it. There we go. You can kind of see right through there. You see that sensor? Good. Setting up right to about where I want to be. In this case, again, I think I'm actually going to change the arm. So again, we're really close to, the arm is close in there. The comic will come around and fold and catch right there. For Maria, the most sensitive part in her mouth will be right here where the bone and the mucosa meet. So I'm going to be very careful to get this little point right there, gently nudged up against there. And this is how I do it. First, wide open cheek, deep in the mouth, pull on the cheek, get the cord out of the way, get that point right there, start angling it down, 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 bring it forward till I just, the entire flat portion of the anterior hits her bone. Now, Maria, gently close down. Excellent. Here. And line up. And go. Okay. Open. The last one I'm going to do, maxillary, or sorry, mandibular molar. Same thing. And then I hope my videographer will be able to get that I'm on the portion of the molar. So when I have my bite block, I should be able to see all that front portion of the tooth there. So getting back into the mouth, pulling on the cheek. I can usually pull a lot on the cheek. There's a lot of flex there, and she's not going to feel that. Getting it down against the molar, slowly bite into place. Good. Bring that ring in. Line up an image. Open. I want to show one brief thing with bite wings, so hold for a sec. I'm going to do this without the ring and then do the right bite wing. We're going to turn a little bit towards the videographer. So as I place this in the mouth, again, just wanting to show placement for molars, I should be able to see a little bit of the molar in front of this little ring right here, about where my finger is showing up there. So as I come into the mouth, set up my horizontal angulation, come in. I do like to try to go in horizontal, but it quickly has to turn. I can see portion of that molar there. As she closes, if she were having difficulty, I'd have her start to close and then push in and back at the same time. I don't have to go that far for her, so she can slowly, gently close on that. I'm going to push in and back a little bit. Then stay grinning please i want to be able to see that little line up on the top there that way i know i am not going to cone cut so i get this front portion to aim right up there at about the edge of that line right there checking my horizontal and vertical angulations good and open last one premolar same thing we do want to be careful about the front of her mouth right here this one is not going to be angled close to the arch. It's going to be kind of going cross arch. And I'm looking at my contacts up here, maxillary premolars. However, when I do place it, I'm still going to be placing the bite block on her lower molars. That way I know I'm getting her in that comfort zone in the very front. So I'll bring that in, cross arch, gently bring it down so I can actually see where, not yet, and see where she's going to bite and I'm not hitting or banging in that bone, just gently placing against that bone. I'm bringing it as far forward as I can. Now gently close. 
nicely done. And then again, bringing that in, making sure I don't comb cut, I'll be right up against the end of that little raised notch. All right, and image. Open, please. That's it, thank you.